This episode of Times 2 Review is brought to you by Club Triple X, the Discord server for gamers who strive to achieve extreme excessive excellence, and the official Discord server for the Times 2 Review. Link found in the description below. Developed by 343 Industries and published by Xbox Game Studios, Halo Infinite is a free-to-play first-person shooter game that released in 2021. There are a total of 16 games in the Halo series. Of those games, 8 are considered to be part of the main storyline, and the other 8 are considered to be various spin-offs or adaptations that may or may not be part of the actual Halo canon. So in all actuality, Halo Infinite is the 16th game in the series. But if we count just the games that are considered as definite canon and whose story actually matters, then Halo Infinite is the 8th game in the series. The game contains both a single player campaign that picks up after the events of the 2015 game Halo 5 and also a full multiplayer arena battle mode. Halo is a great game that feels very similar to the Twitch style shooters of yesteryear. Games like Quake, Doom, and Unreal Tournament. It is a fast shooter with blink and you will die moments. The Halo franchise has done very well for itself over the years by developing its own lore and a likable hero with the main character called Master Chief. And now, Halo is gaining even more popularity from new followers since the release of the new Halo TV series that is streaming on the Paramount Plus network. So the question becomes obvious. Is Halo Infinite actually a good game? Or is it a game that does well because it has the loyal following of players from over the years? Let's find out together in this Times 2 review. And it's time for another Times 2 review. Hey guys, I'm Extermicide and I'm here with my buddy Mimat. Hey, howdy. Thanks for having me, man. Ah, no problem. Anytime. Excited. So today nice we too. are going to be doing a review of Halo Infinite. Have you ever played this? No, never uh, indulged in the Halo series myself. At all. But played Destiny. So I, I've played uh, the from the Bungie team. So Halo-esque or Halo inspired. Yeah, I was a uh, I was a PlayStation fiend. I was a super fanboy, so didn't touch the Xbox stuff. Okay. <laughs> I played some Halo back in the freaking day, some of the old, earlier versions of it. I was a big fan of uh, what I would call Twitch shooters. So Quake, Doom, mm. Unreal Tournament, and eventually Halo. And I was a big fan of all those type of games. It's been a while since I played a Halo game, decided, okay, well, they got a new one. And guess what? They made it free to play. Game name, Halo <laughs> Infinite. Released year 2021, so it's only a year old. Publisher, Xbox Game Studios. Developer, three, what is it? 343 Industries. So the first thing me and Matt, me and me, Matt had to do and everything is we, we, we download this free from freaking Steam. Now you think we'd be able to hook up and, you know, get into a party through Steam and everything. No, they give you the options in there to connect either through Steam or through Discord. We tried both. Nah. Being that this is a game that was released as a Xbox exclusive, it just kind of was like a brain fart saying, hmm, we're having trouble connecting here. Let's load up the uh, Xbox game bar crap and add each other friend as friends through that. And that got us into the game. Why this game is downloadable on Steam, yet you still have to go through connecting through your microsoft account and everything is beyond me it's tedious it's stupid if someone's not freaking telling you how to freaking do it it was a nightmare it took it took us we should have started this freaking review literally about freaking 30 minutes ago <laughs> um if not if not yep. more so wow not very intuitive yeah quite <laughs> honestly this game should not be in the steam store in my opinion it should have been left on the microsoft store and let you download it through there if you want but this mm -hmm. is the way they decided to do it maybe they weren't getting enough people playing the game signed up through the microsoft store so they made some kind of great deal with steam to go ahead and market it through that but you end up having to jump through a lot of freaking hurdles if you don't own the xbox i don't have, have an xbox so i keep all that xbox stuff turned off on my computer it just kind of 
yep. complicates matters. It's 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 made crap pop up in the background for me in the past. The, you know, your game bar, you can now record. It's like, I don't want to record anything through Xbox game bar. Um, <laughs> so I turned all that crap off. But now for this game, I had to turn all that shit back on, which when we get done with this review, I will be going immediately back in and turning all that shit off again. Not a good start for this one. First thing we're going to do is we are going to jump over in the shop. That's the first thing I like to freaking do is just let's oh. see if, you know, what we see in here and what I am seeing right off the bat is just a lot of freaking <laughs> skins. Upgrade the premium. Player skins. They got the, the season pass. Yep, they have a season pass. They have dailies that you can do. So a Boost daily bundle. Um, they got XP boosts. This is kind of pricey for a skin. Because, so, okay, so you got all your popular ones here from G Sports, Recolors. Space Clan. Okay, so you're, 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 you're seeing skins here that are costing a thousand credits each. Now, going back to freaking credits, a thousand is ten bucks. Ten bucks for a freaking skin. And what I'm seeing is that these skins look very much alike, except for some of the coloring um it literally looks like all recolors yes i wonder how much of this you can like get in the game well that's another thing because you know, according Not to reddit posts that. you can get all this stuff in the game however the way xp is done with this particular game is you don't get xp for kills which is asinine for a shooter game the way you get xps um in this game is by completing matches and it's not a lot of XP. So it literally takes you something like 1500 hours to get enough to buy one of these freaking skins. If you're grinding mm. it that way, because you're just getting little XP chunks. Microsoft, don't get greedy, especially when you're sitting there selling these skins and you're charging $10 for red, $10 for blue, because it's the same freaking <laughs> skins, you're just changing the colors. $10 for yellow, no, that's not, cool <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm team blue definitely team blue okay so there is a <laughs> campaign in this game a single player campaign we will not be playing that this is all about times two playing with your friends and everything we are going to be focusing on the multiplayer and let's freaking take a look at that i've never played a uh, first person shooter without a controller in my hands this will be my first match ever on a mouse and oh, keyboard wow. so <laughs> Yeah, see, he's putting the warning out right now. You know, if I suck, this is why. <laughs> Big team battle play. Okay. I think Halo would stand to do very well if they actually made a BR, uh, you know, about a royal game in the Halo universe. I think it would do quite well. But Microsoft isn't one to keep up with the freaking times. I, I, I think with the exception of Halo, their biggest franchise is Microsoft Flight Simulator. So... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. 100 kills to win. All right. Get our little intro. That's right. Fists of Fury coming out. <laughs> Team Cobra. Earn more kills than your opponents to win. All right, we got a guy down here. I seem to be taking a very large flank. Oh, oh shit. Wow, I think I actually killed somebody. I'm not sure. Shields are down. Trying to get used to this jump shooting. They got a uh, 
got a vehicle. Oh. I ran out of ammo. <laughs> Staying alive. I finally died. I ran out of ammo also. Jesus Christ, I just got ran over. <laughs> Whales yeah, can't go out into the middle of the well, boat. <laughs> good news is you and I are tied right now for kills. Which is zero apiece. I do have an assist in there. He's got the hammer. Someone was behind me. It seems the uh, the ram game with the vehicle is a uh, pretty big meta. Gotta find the sweet spot. Definitely a different feel to this than Destiny 2. He's got a hammer! That hammer's got some range, dang. I do like gr grenades. I need, I need to find where they hide oh, the sniper. Shit, they point. have to ship something to the sky? Yeah, it's gonna... And the guy with the hammer again. Sweet. Wonderful. like you popped on the leaderboard with a kill and why am i spawning right here literally spawn next to three of their team <laughs> brag me
All right, that was stupid. I do feel like compared to other I'm shooter games, we, uh, switch spawns. compared to other shooter games, it feels like you have to pump a lot more shots into these guys than in other games to get someone killed. Yeah, I think there I think there's a emphasis on headshots, but it's like I'm just trying not to run into vehicles at this point. Oh. What a good vehicle. Preemptively threw it up. Exactly sure what kind of gun I just grabbed. Great tank is on the way. I'm not even sure how much the zoom really helps. Oh, grenade launcher, little boom tube. Wonderful. Oh, we lost. Single shot. Really bad stats. Uh, I had two kills. You. Big old goose egg. Two assists. How many deaths? <laughs> Eleven. I guarantee you, seven of those were to that damn Two hammer. Two kills, seven deaths, the one six shot. assists. All right, so you ready to score this? Let's do it. All right, being that this, this is not an MMO, we use our simple scoring system, which is five categories, and we score it anywhere from zero through 20 points each. And we're gonna start off with graphics, and you wanna go ahead and start that off? Uh, sure. So I was actually really impressed with how the game looks. And one thing with uh, graphics for me is there's always an end goal of what the game is trying to accomplish. And for this, I think the end goal was to be classic Halo, but updated. And I think everything looks gorgeous. I think the character models look gorgeous. The maps look really good. The lighting's great. I can see what I'm doing on the maps. So I gave it an 18. Okay. With everything that you just said, I 100% completely freaking agree. And I'm actually going to go ahead and be a little bit nicer. I'm going to go ahead and for graphics, I'm, I'm going to give them a 20. Uh, Man, I was about I, to. I, I, I really, I really think the graphics were really polished. I can't, I can't think of anything negative to say about the graphics. So that's going to bring us to sound and music. Um, so we have to bring both of these things into one score. Music wise, I think the music that they put into the game is very fitting for what this game was. Um, so I had no gripes there or anything. It, it wasn't like some games where you get in and the music just becomes monotonous really quick. This music just seemed to kind of change from map to map and it was it, it was good. Like any game, I'm assuming after you play like several thousand hours of it and everything, you'll probably mute the music all the way down and put your own music in the background and everything. And that's, that's, that's par for course for any game. Sound effects were good. I'm not going to say that they were perfect because one of the problems I had is um, melee kills. When when someone would run up behind me, it seems kind of weird that mm -hmm. a 350 pound guy who's wearing all freaking armor and armor boots and everything, I don't hear this guy come up running behind me and hit me twice in the head and kill me. So sound, I don't. I, I sound I think it can be a little freaking better. So I'm going to actually fall on a freaking. I'm going to give them a 17 for sound. 
Uh, I'm in the same boat as you. Uh, the music was, uh, I mean, again, classic Halo gives you that sci-fi, uh, warring fantasy. I thought they really nailed that. I could see myself listening to, I like using uh, game music or movie like uh, soundtracks as background noise during brainstorming sessions. I could definitely see myself playing their music in the background for me. Uh, but a huge point that you point out, I had the same feeling. I could not hear footsteps and in a first person shooter, that's extremely important. So that actually uh, was a big knock for me, especially learning and just kind of getting the feel for the game. I kept dying to melee and that didn't feel good. So I dropped them down to a 15 on this uh, just because of that and just because of how important it is to first person shooters. Fair enough. Next, that brings us to uh, UI and menus. I'm gonna go ahead and let you take this one first. <laughs> uh, obviously we had some major issues uh, navigating the UI. Uh, I know not just uh, trying to uh, get our gamer tags in game, uh, but just finding out where you can do that. Like just, it's not intuitive and it should be. It's 2022, it should be very easy to just create an account and then you have your account there and then you can find your friends right on the on the friends list. And we had to jump through hoops to do that. Uh, secondarily, uh, the keyboard bindings, just finding stuff in the settings, it was not intuitive at all. Uh, but as far as uh, UI menus and just how it looks in game when you're playing your matches, I thought it was crisp. I thought it was clear. I knew where stuff was uh, on my bar and I knew where the important stuff was. Um, but the just navigating game menus really dropped them down for me. I actually got them at a 10 uh, just just because it was it was a major headache. And if I was picking up the game for the first time as a free to play player, that would be something that would be like, do I really want to hop in here more often? There's other first person shooters on the market that are doing it better. So that's why they got a pretty harsh score from me. <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but I agreed with almost everything there. The um, the menus in game were perfect. I, I had no problems with anything in game once you're in game playing. However, the menus, um, the, the the menu system, you know, finding all your settings and everything, was just for you know for lack of different words, a clusterfuck. It, it was just <laughs> it could have been laid out a lot better, and it just looks. <sighs> It just looked like someone dropped the ball there or they just plain got lazy. But that aside, the whole thing with the uh, connecting, like you said, with the, the Xbox accounts to play the game was you're, you're giving us options to, yeah, click here to connect with your Discord, you know, through dis a friend through Discord. Well, you, you're doing it, but it's not doing it and then it's giving you another yeah. option okay well that's not working let's try this other one the other option is connect to your uh, from you know with a friend through steam let's try that one you're doing it but it's not actually doing it why you would have this game freaking downloadable on freaking steam and then put the option in there to connect with steam and then not have it actually work with steam is just i, I don't know just bad um the fact that you can download this game from Steam and yet you still have to go and install the Xbox bar and all that crap just to be able to play with your friends on PC really sucked ass. It was just it was just a real pain in the ass. I'm gonna go with a 10 right here with you also. That that that, that was a really big disappointment. Probably the biggest for this game. And that's going to bring us to gameplay and combat. I'll go ahead and take this one first. Uh, honestly, with the exception of not being able to hear some footsteps with the melee combat, which we already addressed, I'm not going to uh, bitch about it twice. But with the exception of that, the combat was really good. It felt it felt to me very uh, much like Titanfall 2. It, it, it was smooth. It was mm -hmm. tight. It just it just had that feeling, and it, um, it was really freaking good. I got really no freaking complaints with that, except like I said, the, the sound with the melee. And I'm not gonna punish them here for that. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say gameplay and combat. And, and, and of course, it was we we just chose the option where it was quick play, and it was putting us in different matches. The the variety of different matches it put us in were all fun. I had fun the entire time doing it. So I'm 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 gonna, I'm, I'm gonna fall on a 19 here uh, for gameplay and combat. Mm. Uh, I definitely agree. Uh, everything felt crisp. All my actions felt crisp. 
And uh, as I progressed through the games, I got better. I got a little bit more skill with the mouse. I mean, like we said at the, or like I said at the beginning of the video, this is my first uh, keyboard and mouse first person shooter. So coming from a console where everything has to be designed very crisp to make it intuitive to use joysticks with thumbs while clicking bumpers and X buttons and all that stuff uh, to just being able to like I, I found myself just spinning myself completely 180 and looking the other direction with the mouse and that felt really good um, as far as like shooting the guns shooting the guns felt really good she getting headshots felt really good it had that little pop that when you when you nailed it you felt it and it had me thirsting for more so complat and gameplay uh, I gave it a uh, 18 mainly because I had to really uh, Tinker with the, uh, I, I adjusted my sensitivity on my mouse to give myself a little bit better control. That's just me being probably being a little too hard, but 18. All right. <laughs> Still good. And this lands us on our final category, probably the most important cash shop pay to win. Looking through it, the very first thing I always look for is anything that's going to give people an unfair advantage with stats on the items. We saw none of that, which is good. There's no, it doesn't appear to be any pay to win in this game. So I was actually very pleased to see that. What they did sell though was cosmetics and the cosmetics, I'm, I'm okay with that. However, they were kind of pricey for what you were actually getting. And when I say that, you weren't getting much in a variation other than color. It just was like the same armor, but different colors. And I have a problem with paying $10 for blue and $10 for red and $10 for yellow. And it's all the same freaking armor. I have an issue with that. However, they did have some cool outfits in there like the samurai outfits however some of these outfits mm -hmm. are not obtainable some are attainable by doing you know the grind of doing the in-game play for hours and hours and you gain some money so you can buy these items some of those items are not and the only way to get those items is to fork out your freaking credit card and purchase the freaking items the way xp works in this game seems to be you only you don't get it from kill to kill and you get it from from the end of the match just getting to the end of the match whether you win if you win you probably get more xp if you lose you get a little bit less but you don't get xp for your your individual work so if you're that guy who's doing 27 kills i would expect him to get a lot more xp than the guy who only got two or three kills it would make sense to me but that's not how they do it it's kind of like the whole it's a team effort thing and if you win you guys get this chunk of xp and if you lose you get this chunk and because they do it that way to earn the money you would need to buy some of these cosmetics can literally take over a thousand hours just to get one freaking cosmetic. Look, if you're gonna have a way of grinding for it in game and everything, at least be realistic with the timing of how long the freaking grind is going to be. So yeah, I, I would kind of lower that freaking timing a bit if I was them, and I would also lower the prices a little bit. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit torn here. Like I said, there's no pay to win, so that's big. That's big <laughs> for me. So I'm going to land on a 15 here. So I like I, I was teetering really heavy because I agree the variety and the value of what you're purchasing wasn't really there. Mainly because in this game, you don't see your armor. You don't see yourself. You see the weapon in front of you. And to me as like a, a consumer, I'm like, why am I buying this for other people to see how cool I look when I too want to kind of look at and see how cool I look other than in you know, that little cut scene before a match or inside your it's menu. It's the only time they actually uh, really get to see you because no one during the match is going to mm -hmm. stop and say, wow, did you see how cool that guy looked and just ran past me? The game is too frantic and too hectic. You know, you're not going to... Yeah. Cosmetics don't really matter in a game like this. I mean, this. I did I did have my one moment where... I did have my one moment where I saw, like, the red, white, and blue armor and I was like, that looks pretty spicy. But other than that, uh, the other stuff that's in the shop, like the boosters, I get that. You know, they, they want to monetize being able to get the XP and get the rewards a little bit faster. Um, and it pairs up with the battle pass and the price of the battle pass. I thought it was very uh, fair compared to other games in the market. And as far as like purchasing stuff in the shop it, as a free to play player, I could see that being pretty good value for you to spend with no box price every time the new battle pass comes out, because then you're just getting extra rewards. You're earning that stuff as you're playing. So it kind of goes hand in hand. 
I'm, I'm a fan of battle passes when the rewards are, are meaningful, but a first person shooter, it's really tough to have those meaningful rewards. So that's why it was really tough because I wanted to lower them really far down because I don't really see the value in the shop outside of the battle pass, but I want to give them a good rating because they don't have those pay to win features that you have seen in other games. Um, so I am giving them a flat 10 right down the middle uh, just because the skins, they, they didn't hold the value for me and that seemed to be the big purchasing price. Honestly, I've seen other games shell out like $50 for skins, but their art team put $50 of work into those yes. skins and it's all it's all optional but i didn't see fifty dollars worth of work i didn't see ten dollars worth worth of work going into these armors because most of them were just recolors and that's like 30 minutes in their their creator that's why landed down at a 10. fair enough all right so adding my scores together i came up with a total of 81. and my total came to 71. adding those totals together gives us a total of 152. And dividing that by two, since there's two of us playing, gives us a final score of 76, which gives us a final letter grade of... With a grade of B, this game is considered good and is really worth your time to check out. It falls a little short in some areas, but overall, it really is a solid and good game with more good things happening within than bad. We definitely feel this game is worth your time and hard drive space, so make sure you give it a look. Anyways, that's it for our Times 2 review for this game. We hope you enjoyed it and found it informative, and we will catch you again on the next Times 2 review.